Welcome to the Blind Android Users channel. This is your source for everything Android tutorials and demos, all from a blindness perspective. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Hi, this is Warren Carr for the Blind Android Users channel. This is our fourth installment in our series of Scanners for the Blind on Android. Today I'll be demonstrating an app called Envision AI. I am sitting on my home screen and today I'll be using the Google TTS. I will now navigate to my OCR folder, find and tap on Envision. By the way, I have my phone set to airplane mode and I'm running this on Android 10 for maximum compatibility. Let's now go to that OCR folder, find and tap on Envision. Folder, OCR, page one of five, Envision AI. Envision AI, magnifier, button. When you launch Envision AI, here are the things that you will find. On the top left corner of the phone is the magnifier. To the far right corner, right there on the top, is the flash. Turn flash on button. Those are the two buttons that we have near the top. Magnifier to the left and the flash button on the right. Now going down toward the bottom of the phone, we have the following. At the very bottom, we have five tabs. Starting from the bottom left, we've got Text tab selected, one of five. By default, the text tab is selected. To the right of that, we've got General tab, two of five. General tab Find tab, three of five. Find Glasses tab, four of five. Glasses and Help Tab 5 of 5. Help. Now, above that is another row of buttons. And this time there are three of them. So now that we have the text tab selected, it generates things relating to the text. And so above there in that other row, we have. Start reading instantly, out of list. There's an instant read, to the right of that. Read document. There's a read document, and to the right. Tap this button to read multiple pages, import a PDF file or an image. And that's that one. And all of that is generated because of the fact that the text mode is selected. Let's now tap on the general tab, which is found to the right of the text mode, and see what it generates. General, tab, two of five. General, selected. Now that I have tapped on the general, it changes the items on the top row. And here are the things that we find on the top row. Describe scene, out of list. There's a describe scene. Detect colors. Scan barcode. And that's the last one up there. Now let's go tap on the next tab that is found on the right side of General tab. And that will be... Find tab 3 of 5 in list 5 items. Here is the Find tab. Find. Selected. Now that I tab on Find tab, here are the things that it generates, again, on the top row. Find people, out of list. Find objects. Teach in vision. And that's the last one there. Let's now go ahead and tap on the next tab. And that would be the fourth tab, and that would be the one that says... Glasses, tab, four of five. Glasses, selected. When you tap on glasses, again, it generates a different item near the top row, and here are the things that we find. Buy Envision Glasses, button, out of list. 
There's a buy in vision glasses. Pair in vision glasses button. Glasses already paired button. And those are the ones that we find by tapping on the glasses. Let's now go to the last tab, which would be the help found on the bottom right corner. Help tab five of five. Help selected. When you tap the help, you have menus that pop up going in a vertical manner from top to bottom. Let's start at the very top. And here are the things that we have. Account heading in list. Account details. Check subscriptions. What's new? Help heading. Read tutorials. Give feedback. Settings heading. Offline instant text, faster recognition with instant text for languages based on Latin scripts, switch on. Language detection, automatically read the text in the detected languages. When turned off, text will be read in your phone's default language, switch on. Column detection, recognize columns in text. Turn off for vertically written scripts like Japanese, Chinese and Korean or when reading menu cards and bank statements. Switch on. Text to speech. Change the text to speech engine for how text is spoken. We'll come back to that. Color detection. Dark mode. Switch on. About in vision. And the last one is. Share with friends. Let's go back to the text to speech engine, shall we? Dark processing. Dark color detection. Text to speech, change the text to speech engine for how text is spoken. Navigate up, button, text to speech. When I tap on text to speech, here are the things that we find. Text to speech, out of list. Select your preferred text to speech engine from below. Google text to speech engine, radio button, not checked. Acapella TTS, radio button, not checked. Caitlin TTS, radio button, not checked. So in this case, it really depends on how many text-to-speech engines you have. I have several of these, and I could choose at random as to which one I want to use. So for instance, let's say I go ahead and choose... Catherine TTS, radio button, not checked. Let's check that. Checked. That is one of the Sarah Prague voices. I will now go back. I am now back in the main UI and I'm going to tap on the text mode, the first one at the bottom left. Text, tab, one, text, selected. Now that I have tapped on text, I will now go ahead and tap on instant read. Start reading instantly, out of list. Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining us today. As we continue with the must-have apps, we come to the 29th app. OCR packages happens to be the category for discussion. Who's going to be ground king? Stay tuned as we put these apps to the test. And that text is the found. instant read. No now let's go to the document read. scanning. Read document. It looks like you are not connected to the internet. Some functions might not be available. It looks like, okay. Envision AI. So, it is not going to let me scan a document when I'm offline. Let's now turn it back on and see what we get. In other words, let me turn on my internet and take the airplane mode off and see what we get. Quick airplane mode, switch on, off. Okay, I will clear Envision from my recent apps and relaunch it and try the document mode now that I have internet connectivity back. Recent. Envision AI. I just cleared it away and now I will bring Envision back up. Folder, OCR, page one of five, Envision AI. Envision AI. All right, now that I am in, let's go ahead and try it. I will tap on the read document mode. Read document out of list. Move bottom right. 
Move bottom left. Move away from the document. Move top left. Move away from the document. Move top left. Move away from the document. Move top left. Move top left. Move top left. All edges visible. Hold steady. Processing. Navigate up. Hello Button. everyone and thank you so much for joining us today. As we continue with the must-have apps, we come to the 29th episode in which the OCR packages happens to be the category for discussion. Who's going to be ground king? Stay tuned as we put these apps to the test. And that would be the Envision. As you can tell, the document feature needs one to be connected to the internet. On the other hand, however, the Instant Read doesn't really care whether you have the internet access or not. And that has been the Envision OCR package. Thanks for listening to another clip from the Blind Android Users channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're notified of every new material that we upload. Thanks again for listening to the Blind Android Users channel.